Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video we are going to talk about Ansible playbooks. So from last couple of videos, we now have a basic idea of Ansible ecosystem. Uh, we know what is an inventory file, a module and a task. Uh, we also know that uh, Ansible uses SSH to push configuration on the manage host. And we also discussed uh, very briefly about playbooks and we said that the group of task is called a playbook. So in this video, what I'm going to do is basically create a very basic uh, playbook. Uh, it will run on a local machine and then we'll go about from there. Uh, we are also going to see how we can use custom inventory file. So we talked about inventory file in the last video and we said that there's a default inventory file and we can have our own custom inventory file. So we're going to see that as well. Uh, so yeah, playbook which we are going to write will install HTTPD. So, uh, package and start the HTTP service right so yeah let's start uh, Ansible playbooks are written in YAML format so what we are going to do first is basically create a YAML file so I'll call this YAML file as httpd.yml and playbooks are pretty simple so inside the playbook you define where you want to run your uh, playbook so first thing comes as the host so on what all hosts you want to run this playbook and what all tasks you want this playbook to perform right so for yaml file we will start with three dashes let's get into the insert mode in three dashes let's give our space and now the first thing comes as hosts so since i am going to run it on my local machine let's say all right all right moving on uh, i actually like to pass a parameter called remote underscore user so that defines what user it should use to perform this task and it's basically root uh, you can use whatever user you i mean if you have a pseudo user you can use that and we'll see how you can basically ask that particular user to pseudo into the machine so how does it becomes root right so for now, I'm keeping it very simple, uh, remote user, root, that's it. Now we come to tasks, right? And inside this, we are going to define a couple of tasks. One will install the HTTPD package and the other one will start the HTTPD service, right? So the default rule to write YAML is that under the above line, just give a space of three, three spaces, right? one two three give a dash first thing i'm going to do is give my task a name so i'll say that this is install httpd package so this you will see when you run your ansible playbook so this line would be displayed so you would know that which task is actually running and come down again and I'm going to use yum. Uh, this is basically module, uh, an Ansible module. So we talked about Ansible module, which uh, I mean, our modules are basically collection of code which have already been pre-written and are available to us for you for use. So I'm going to use the yum module, and I'll ask, say, name of the package is httpd, right? And state I want it to be latest so this is this i mean this is basically defining that i want the latest package of httpd which is present right come down again and now i'm going to create my second task which is i'll give this a name run httpd service so this is my second task and again i'm going to use a ansible module which is service name of the service is httpd and state of the service is started so i want that after this package is installed i want the service to be running right so this is the basic playbook that's it i mean we don't need anything else so let's just exit out of it save and quit and now we are going to run it and see that if this is able to install our httpd package or if we have made any errors any typos so we'll get to know right 
So the way to run Ansible playbook is you there's a command called Ansible hyphen playbook and then you pass your playbook name. That's it. That is as simple as it can get. Now let's run it. So we'll talk about what gathering facts is. So in this video, I'm not going to tell you about that, but you can see that the first thing, first task has run. So install HTTP package, it has changed and then run HTTP service that has also changed. So we have, so you can see there's no failed, no skip, no unreachable hosts and we have couple of changes and it's all okay, right? So if everything has been done correctly by Ansible, we should have a system CTL or rather before doing system CTL, let's do an RPM hyphen QA to check that if HTTP package has all actually been installed. So you can see the package is there. Great. Now let me clear my screen and now do a system CTL status on httpd service so you can see the service is running great so now we have ht i mean we have written a very basic playbook and achieved what we wanted to do so next thing i'm going to show you is how you can use custom inventory files right so the first thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to get rid of our httpd package which we just installed so to do that let's do rpm hyphen QA and let's just grab the package grab httpd and just remove them with rpm hyphen e this is the first one rpm hyphen e second one let's just check that if the service file still exists status httpd so you can see the service file is gone all right uh, next thing what we are going to do is i'm going to remove my localhost entry from the default inventory file so let's go to etc and sybil host file so you can see our playbook was picking up our host from this host file so let's just copy this line all right let's, and then delete it now we have deleted this from our host so let's try and run our ansible playbook now it should fail this time yum. so you can see no host smash right great so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a file called my host uh, go into insert mode and i'm going to paste okay so i copied the wrong thing all right so i'm going to do one do the same thing 1.0.0.1 and ansible underscore connection this is equal to local so we got the same entry from our default uh, host file and we've just put it in a different host file right so let's save and quit cat my host so the entry is there all right so let me just clear my screen so i'm going to run the same playbook so since we have removed the removed the httpd package it should get installed again right so to use a custom inventory file and the way to run ansible playbook in that sense is this is how you do it right ansible hyphen playbook you give an hyphen i uh, which is basically stands for inventory and give it the name of the inventory file so my inventory file which i want to use is my host and then you give the name of the yaml file or your ansible playbook now this should run um, so you can see it found my host right so it was trying to gather facts for it so this should run and we should have httpd package installed and service running so you can see there's no failure now again if I do rpm hyphen QA and grab httpd package you can see we have the package system CTL status httpd so you can see the service running alright 
so this is it for this video guys this was very basic introduction of uh, ansible playbook and uh, how to use custom inventory files in the next video we are going to go a little advanced we'll talk about inventory file in detail so because inventory file is not just i mean you cannot just only put host over there there's a lot of thing you can do with inventory file we are going to create a couple of host in aws cloud and we'll try to run our playbook on remote host this time and not the local host all right so before you go please do subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching